Uh, if you can just imagine it in somebody's backyard, I mean, 100 feet uh, loses its dimension when you're in an area this large. But if you're talking about our local communities and the fact that they're clear cutting uh, to this extent and beyond this extent in our local communities, you'd see that there needs to be some sensitivity uh, to our local constituencies, our local communities, and to our local property owners, which isn't taking place. A thing they asked me, did you not know those pipelines were there? Yes, I read the deed. I knew they were there. They did not give them feet or inches, and it says, the first line says, I have the full right to fully enjoy my backyard. First time I saw them, I saw them putting surveying stakes down my driveway, and I went out and asked them what they were doing. They said they were widening the easement. Well, I don't think you can widen the easement. So anyway, we went back and we checked through uh, documentation. They were incorrect. But the wording of the easement said they could enter, repair, and leave. That's all it said. It didn't say cut trees or anything. So we went to court to try to keep this from happening. And we lost the case, regrettably. Uh, and the very next day, they came in and began cutting. They came in on a Thursday and marked trees. They came in on a Monday and cut them down. So I've introduced a bill, uh, or I'm going to be introducing a bill, that has 25 out of 33 state Senate co-sponsors on it. So this is significant. This has significant interest in the state Senate will force these uh, natural gas transmission pipe owners to deal with our local communities and our local property owners on a reasonable basis. If they have not maintained their right-of-ways in the past 21 years, they can only clear-cut within safety parameters set by the federal government or by the Public Utilities Commission of Ohio. And there is a common law theory of adverse possession that exists in common law it says if you haven't maintained Tell and appropriately um, uh, and, and appropriately exercised your property rights and somebody has exercised their dominion over that property for 21 years, that you lose that property right. It took a week because uh, after the first day, uh, the judge requested that we go into arbitration and talk, and they refused to talk. Uh, so the second day, well, you must talk. They refused to talk. They would not negotiate, would not talk. I said, what can we do here? You know, can we talk about the footage, uh, anything? I would not talk about it. So finally, at the end of the fifth day, the judge handed down the judgment. No, my trees are gone. My trees are gone. There's no way that my trees could ever come back. These were 250-year-old trees, large oak trees. That's, that's the end.